Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a Q&A. It's been a while, like I actually can't even remember last time I just sat down and answered some of your questions and had a chat with you guys because I'm normally doing vlogs or hauls or makeup kind of videos and it's very rare that I just sit down and talk to the camera which to be honest is something that I want to do a lot more of might not be Q&A's but it could be talking about a different kind of topics. So last night I took to Instagram and I asked on my Instagram stories um, if you guys had any questions and you guys didn't hold back. There were so many, many questions. I don't know why I said many twice but that just proves how many there were. So the first question is, will you come to Australia? Oh my gosh, I would absolutely love, love, love to come to Australia. The only reason why I'm a bit like Australia, because it's halfway across the world for us. So it takes forever to get to Australia, especially if you're from the UK. Um, but it's definitely one of the places that I want to visit. I feel like um, Australia, there's a lot of places in America as well and also New Zealand are the places that I want to visit and are like at the top of my list. How can you keep your skin looking so great? P.S. I adore you Susie. Oh thank you. <laughs> I have changed my skincare routine massively and it's actually going to be one of my next videos. I know I've been saying it for the longest time that I'm going to do a skincare routine and um, a video all about my skincare but the reason why it's taking me so long is because every time I'm about to film it, I have a massive breakout. I'm not sure whether that's from Mother Nature, whether it's from, you know, just stress or whatnot, but I am not the most confident person in front of the camera without makeup. So for me to be like completely bare or do my skincare on a HD camera, like, if I have blemishes, that just really knocks my confidence and it just makes me not want to do it. But it is gonna be one of my next videos because I think I'm filming it tomorrow. Hi Cece, how's the IT Cosmetics CC Cream? Okay, so I posted on my Instagram stories that I um, actually have it here. I bought this in Boots. I think it was like about three weeks ago now, two or three weeks ago. But I got the matte version because I obviously have very oily skin. I liked that it was SPF um, 40 and it's anti-aging and a hydrating serum. And it also says pore minimizing full coverage cream, which sounds really appealing to me. And I also had boots points on my car that I just wanted to use. So this is what I went for. The coverage isn't as great as I expected. Um, it's definitely one of those products that I would wear when I'm having a good skin day. If I've had breakouts or if I have blemishes, then it's probably not going to be my go-to. But it's definitely a great, like, quick in the morning, just slap, just slap it on your fingers and massage it in like a moisturiser. It is really, really quick and if you really need to get out the door, but you want to like have a bit of coverage and just even out your skin tone a little bit then this is perfect for that but in terms of doing a full makeup look like this and you know being really flawless and having good coverage um that's not what i would use it for this is more kind of like a tinted moisturizer to me um that's only because i go for medium to full coverage foundations this question is when is your vlog gonna be out i haven't been vlogging for the last three or four weeks. Um, May has been, or was, a very weird month for me. Um, there was a passing, um, a very, very close family friend. So I actually went, um, went home for a couple of days. Um, because of that, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen it on my stories. I just went home for a couple of days, stayed for one night, and then I came back down to London because I had jobs to attend to. But yeah, May was just weird. Like, just not only that, but something else as well. Like, it, it was just, like I really wasn't in the mood for vlogging. I am a very, 
I'm not sure what's the best way to describe it, but I am a very you are you are you get what you see kind of person like i need to be in the mood for vlogging i need to be happy i need to be you know in the right kind of mental state i can't be worried or stressed or be feeling anxious and then suddenly turn on a vlog camera and be like hey guys you know i cannot do that like i just can't um so the most asked question was are you dating anyone or are you dating now and to be honest no like i haven't even thought about dating it hasn't crossed my mind i'm just really enjoying my time being alone and with aiden like aiden is my priority if i have any free time then i want to take aiden out i want to take him here and then do really fun things with him my mind is not like if I have free time then I should go on a date kind of thing um, so no like I'm just really enjoying being alone like it's the best thing ever do you ever feel overwhelmed as a single mum all the goddamn time <laughs> honestly I am actually very lucky like I said that actually but I am very lucky Aiden's quite easy like he listens he's quite good and even when I'm feeling ill last night I had a bit of a stomach ache so I told him to play on his own because I was just gonna like lay on the sofa because um, I was having a stomach ache and I was rubbing my tummy I was telling him that I've got a stomach ache first thing he did was go get me a blanket he gave me his cuddly toy which is like a panda and he was like hold this it will make you feel better and then he went and got his water and told me to drink it and I said I don't want any water like mommy doesn't want any water and he was like just drink it you'll feel better and I was like oh my gosh like this little kid is so like I don't want to be that mum who's like oh yeah my son shits rainbows and you know <laughs> like it's perfect but he honestly is so so good the only times I feel overwhelmed is when I have like 10,000 things to do all at once and in a way it's impossible so in a way I've learned to let go and stop trying to have everything done and if it if it gets done then it will get done if it doesn't then there's always tomorrow hi Susie have you tried the face firming and lifting gold bar I have no idea what that is so no when will you keep long hair again um i'm not really sure i'm really liking the mid length hair it's a lot easier to wash it dries a lot quicker i think that it looks a lot more stylish um on me personally but yeah so i i, I don't know i'm just really having fun with medium length hair right now okay another question that i always get asked not just last night but also in general as well and that is how did Aiden get into the next photo shoot so if you follow me on Instagram and Aiden has his own Instagram as well um, I put up pictures of his modeling shots for next um, the retailer brand and well I had so many questions and honestly I got him into modeling because my friend's son was doing modeling and Ever since Aiden was young, a lot of people were like, you should get him into modelling, he's so photogenic and da da da. But I was always really cautious because I've heard so many horror stories about like children's modelling agencies, you know, requesting money and people are not getting any work and it's a bit of a scam. So when my friend told me about the agency that she was with and, you know, it seemed really legit and it seemed reasonable and they've got quite a good reputation as well so i just emailed them and sent in some photos of aiden and they were like yeah like he looks really good on camera we'll take him on board and then the next month he started doing photo shoots and it's basically the agency they find the clients for you so next was one of the agency's clients and next will probably go to my agency and be like we need this kind of model, you know, this kind of um, look, this height, 
um, do you have anyone on your books? So then probably Aiden was like put forward and then they chose Aiden, that kind of thing. So I'm not really too sure how it all works, but that's kind of how it works. Favourite basic clothing brand? Um, definitely Arquette. If you watch my Instagram stories or even if you follow my vlogs, I always um, buy stuff from Arquette and it's always the basics as well. They do like jackets and dresses and that which I like but um, it's not 100% my style. It's a little bit more mature but in terms of their basics like you cannot be Arquette. I love your bridal work. How about you do a makeup and hair tutorial with a model? Um, This is something that I've actually been thinking about and if you would like to see it please let me know and for those of you who might not know but I do a bridal business um, on the side of YouTube so I do hair and makeup for brides um, around London and sometimes not just in London like I've been to Manchester and Birmingham before but mainly in London so that's kind of my side business aside from YouTube so if you want to see um, something like that just let me know leave a comment down below if you had filler on your chin your face changed a little bit and quite a few people have asked me this actually and I actually have but it's not something that I wanted to shout about or be like hey guys look I've just had this done because I feel like it's such a personal thing and I know that I have viewers all kinds of ages and some might be very young so I don't want to be like hey guys look what I've done like um and encourage it because it is a very personal thing it's just something that I wanted to do something that I'm happy with something that I'm comfortable with but I would never lie about like doing things like that if I have then I have I got it done last year and honestly it was just for myself it wasn't for anyone else it wasn't for anything I, I was just like if I can do it and it's gonna make me happier more confident then why not when I was younger I used to um, say to my mum that I wanted to go to Asia and get plastic surgery because I wanted my face to look sharper and my mum literally whipped me back to China like she was like no way you're doing that because in Asia it's not just needles it's actual surgery so they actually like cut you open and they reconstruct your jaw and it's like a massive process so obviously I didn't get that done like I would never actually go under the knife I am too scared of anything going wrong of course I know that fillers have become quite popular and I actually saw a few people having it done like not in person but online and that's when I started to look into it and what was injected was actually hyaluronic acid so I used Juvederm my um, lady who does it on me she used Juvederm so that's like hyaluronic acid but yeah I was just like why not just like try it and yeah, so yeah, that's what I had done. What do you do at the gym or what workouts do you do? Honestly, I cancelled my gym membership last December because I wasn't going enough. In December, I went once to the gym and so I was just like, I'm not paying for the gym when I only go once because I honestly rarely have any time and if I do have a spare day off the last thing I want to do is go to the gym I'd rather just stay at home and clean and sort things out and you know just have a nap <laughs> how do you maintain your weight any dieting tips for us um my weight fluctuates really really quickly like in the space of one week I could lose or gain six pounds like that's how ridiculous it is dieting tips is know your body for the years i've been observing what food makes me feel crap what foods make me feel good and i think eating healthily in general will help with dieting um i am a snacker like i love my crisps oh walker's sensations thai chili like Oh, and I love my sweets as well give me a pack of Haribo and I could like finish the pack but I know for a fact that I can't like binge on those all the time so I think everything in moderation I wouldn't say any dieting tips just get to know your body would you ever move back up north um this is something that is always always on my mind honestly like I'm not even joking every I think every single month 
I've been on Supla and Right Move looking at homes and just like seeing what's available and you know but there's a lot to consider and a lot to take in obviously Aiden's in nursery here and schools are generally a lot better down here than back in my hometown so it's not just about what I want to do or where I want to move to um I think at the forefront is Aiden and his future and his um, plans for him really so I'm not sure. When are you next going back to Hong Kong? I think uh, I might be going at the end of this year. I'd really, really love to take Aiden back. Uh, last time he went, he was two years old, so he was quite young. And now that he's a little older and he's walking and talking a lot more, honestly, I just want to take him for the food. Aiden loves his food, like me, and he would just love everything um, in Hong Kong. Were you cheated on in your previous relationship? This question comes up a lot. I actually do not know. Like, that's all I can say. Like, I I don't actually know, and I don't think I will ever know. Comfy white trainers, definitely my feet ends. They're so so comfy. Everyone I know who has a pair says that they're the comfiest trainers they have as well. And I'm just like, they're a little bit pricier than like you know more like Nikes or Adidas, but. They are so comfy. What's your plan on your career? I think, I used to think about it a lot, but now I've learned not to think about it too much. I feel like everything always falls into place and you can't really plan what's gonna come next. Um, but in terms of five years time, I really want my bridal business to be my main kind of job right now it's side by side with my social media so youtube instagram that kind of stuff it's side by side so in five years time i still want to be doing social media but probably not in the way that i'm doing it now i'll probably move on to different topics more lifestyle i guess and i really want my bridal business to you know go like that so that's my plans. Um, it's going really well so far, like a lot better than I expected. And I'm still trying to like, you know, take care of myself as well and just balance everything. But yeah, we'll see. Are you watching Love Island this year? Do you know what? I actually just finished watching last night's episode this morning. Um, I didn't watch it last night because I was quite tired. And when I'm tired, I'd rather just stay in bed and listen to some music or just like browse on my phone and you know just have some me time but I did just finish watching it um about two hours ago and it is such a guilty pleasure little pleasure guilty um pleasure to watch and last year's I was just like mm, it was I think season two and three were the best like I was literally watching it every single night but last year I didn't watch it religiously so it was 9 p.m. I was like oh love islands on mm, yeah I'll, I might watch catch up tomorrow so it wasn't like I need to sit down and watch it so I think this year's gonna be the same like I'll watch it but not like okay it's 9 p.m. I need to be sat on my sofa how often do you clean your flat you do everything on your own everything is always so clean um, I clean my flat probably twice a week once a week is a deep clean where I literally just clean every single thing. I get the like I get everything out. And if you've watched my speed clean video, then you've probably seen me cleaning. And then the other time is just me mopping and just vacuuming, like just basic quick cleaning. Are you and Tommy still friends? I think this is one of my most asked questions as well. Um, well, definitely. Um, I wouldn't describe it as friends because we are more than friends because we obviously have Aiden together um, and we've been in each of us lives for half of our like each of us lives so when it's more like family so it's not friends I wouldn't say it's friends but I would say it's family and it's all cool we're cool like we get on a lot better than people expect us to. I feel like when people sometimes see us out and about because sometimes we do take Aiden out together, people are surprised and 
you know, Chinese people just love to gossip and I absolutely hate it. Like, Chinese whispers, the saying doesn't come from nothing. Honestly, Chinese people just love to gossip and yeah, we get on a lot better than a lot of people would expect. That's all I'm gonna say. Are you going, goon? Are you going to do a meet and greet in UK? I've had this question a few times as well and I've actually had opportunities to hold a meet and greet in London but I always turn them down because I am the most awkward person ever. I feel like um, when I see people now and then in the streets and they come up to me, I'm fine, I'm completely fine because it's a one-on-one -on -one and I actually love it. I actually love meeting you guys and chatting to you guys and actually a couple of you guys I've seen quite a few times, like might like go to the same places. So there's a couple of subscribers that actually I talk to now and then, like I wouldn't say we're friends but we are like if we see each other we're like hey like and we have a conversation um but in terms of having crowds or a lot of people all at once like i just get like even now just talking about it, it's making me feel anxious i'm like holding my phone like this um but i do get really awkward and i am quite a shy person in in terms of having big crowds or like a lot of people just focusing on me all at once like I, I just hate being the centre of attention. So that's the end of my q and I really enjoyed that actually. I just feel like I'm more in touch with you guys instead of, you know, just showing parts of my life. I'm actually like answering your questions and being more um, engaging with you guys. So if you want me to do more of these, or even if you just want me to do kind of these q and a style of little snippets in my vlogs, like just let me know and ask me questions in, the comments and I feel like every video I could just like pick a few questions to answer and build on that so yeah I really enjoyed it so I hope you guys did and I'm sorry if I didn't get to answer your questions if I answered them all I'd still be sat here tonight and I can't do that because I have nursery pick up soon <laughs> so yeah thanks for your continuous support I honestly I honestly like oh I don't know how to tell you guys how much it means to me but I shall see you in my next video, which will be coming very soon. Bye guys. Mwah.